Hi golfers and welcome back to the golf hallway and today I want to share with you what my current swing thoughts are so you can understand what goes on in my head even though that's really impossible because yeah I don't even understand what goes on in my head but I want to share them with you because I think sometimes that can help other people as well to understand what the structure of my swing thoughts are and how I apply them in my swing so let's go all right so my current swing thoughts. I currently am struggling with coming at the ball a little bit too far from the inside uh, and it starts at the takeaway. I have talked about the takeaway a lot and that is one of my swing thoughts, shockingly enough, but really I want to avoid coming into the ball too far from the inside, which is going to be a positive path if you were a track man. I want to straighten out my path a little bit more through the ball so I can actually cover the ball better, I can compress the ball better, I can get the distance that I need because sometimes when I do this, I can just hit the ball thin a lot. Um, when I come too far from the inside, I hit it a little bit too far either on the um, hosel or on the top of the face. And I really hate that. I mean, we all hate that, but it's nothing is more annoying than taking the correct club, hitting it like shit, and then actually losing five, six yards and then just being short online. So that happens to me a lot personally. So I gotta make sure that I can straighten out that path so here is the two things that I pay attention to in my swing currently to make sure I don't do this. So first swing thought has to do with the takeaway, as I said. So I'm going to grab my pitching wedge here. doesn't matter which club. And right here I have my little putting mat, which actually is going to serve us pretty well for this demonstration. Um, but if you don't have you know, a putting mat in your hallway, you can always take an alignment stick and put it down. And here is where I would basically set a little track. And this is a tip that I got from um, Mr. David Ledbetter, who was my mentor, coach, and really just, you know, an awesome person that I always like to bounce some things off of, including my swing, <laughs> um, because it's super hard to actually be not biased um, on your own swing. I see a lot of things in other people, but when it comes to myself, because I've done it for so long, it's just better to have an outside perspective, which is what I am for you guys. So. Quick interruption, guys, because I do want to talk about something super, super exciting. And this is the first time that we're going to be doing this, but I'm actually doing an in-person clinic in Naples, Florida on December 13th and 14th, 2024. So there is still a few limited spots open. Make sure you check out the link below. Make sure you sign up. I'd love to see you guys. We are staying at an amazing hotel. It's going to be basically a fun golf weekend in Florida. Who doesn't want to do that before Christmas when it's super cold in the rest of the country? So. I would love to see you guys. Make sure you check out the link below. If you have any questions, make sure to just reach out to us. We're always here for you and I cannot wait to see you guys there. I have set up my little alignment stick here. And then when I go back, I want to make sure that I keep that from my perspective, I keep my club face in this track. I like to also move a little bit more to the front of this track sometimes so I can see that club in between those two tracks for longer. And that's really important. So the first swing thought is on track go up and then I'm basically just swing up. And the second swing thought for me is clear my left hip. So from the top, what happens to me a lot is also because I am too far on the inside, when I yank it inside, you see how my weight's more on my heels and then I have to actually push it forward through impact. So it will kind of be a pattern of a little bit inside and then a little bit this way. And then you come to the ball too far from the inside, you can thin it, you know, a lot of things can happen. You can push it and you can pull it and hook it, which is the issue of two misses. So you have a right miss and a left miss, and that is super, super hard to score with. If you have one miss, you can score. If you have two misses, you can't score. But who am I telling us? You guys know all about this. You know, we're not here for, to learn about the misses. We're here to learn about the unmissing it. <laughs> so second swing thought right now is from the top right here, after I've stayed on track, on track, on track, I'm clearing my left hip. So what that does is I don't focus on my right hip that's currently jumping forward. I'm focusing on my left hip that's going back. So my left hip is now pushing back and clearing, which gives me a lot more room to drop my club in here, as you can see. So I'm at the top and then I'm pushing back. That left hip goes back and up. And now my club can actually come down in front of me and it can also exit lower. How you can tell that your swing path is better and it's not so far from the inside is by essentially checking your finish. So when you watch the best players in the world, you will see that their exit and that their actual finish position where the club exits left side of their body is not so high, 
but instead it's actually quite low. It's pretty much right here or right here. It depends on the club they're hitting, of course, but that's one telltale sign for you to understand that you're coming too far from the inside. Making sure that you're, and the opposite applies. So if you're coming too far from the outside, you'll have a really low finish. So if you're coming over the top right here, your finish is gonna be super low. See where my hands exit here? So ideally, your exit should be, with a regular seven iron, your exit should be kind of below your left shoulder, just a little below your left shoulder. With a driver, it can be kind of through your left shoulder. So I'll show you this right now. So kind of below your left shoulder would be right here, and through your left shoulder would be pretty much like right here. And that's fine, that's decent range, but as soon as it gets higher, make sure you look at your swing path and also at your takeaway. So my two swing thoughts are stay on track, clear the left hip. That's all I do. So that's what I play with. I literally, I will set up and I will say track, left hip. Track, left hip. And I also incorporate this same into my waggle. So I will have a track, left hip waggle. Track, left hip waggle. Track, left hip waggle. And then I swing. So every time I have a new swing thought or whatever swing thought I have, I make a waggle out of it. I repeat that once or twice or three times before I swing on the tee box so I can really ingrain that into my muscle memory. So make sure whatever swing thoughts you have, you do the same thing and maybe two of my swing thoughts can help you as well. Especially when you're somebody that's coming from the inside, track and left hip is going to be awesome for you. I hope you liked this video. I hope you join me next time. If you did like it, please comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. See you next time.